So I'm just going to get right into it. I want to show you exactly what the baked actions do. So this image is straight out of camera. Nothing has been done to it. So I just want to do a little run through of everything so that you know exactly what each thing does. So first, um, if I'm not using presets, what I'm going to do first is apply the Appleseed color base. Hit play. All right. And that gives you a bit of a base. And that's what this one does. So it's just a one click action. It, and that's it. Um, and that's what I would start with. And of course, the blemish, the bye bye blemish brush. So that one is for obviously any little skin or little things like this here. So I'm going to hit play. Okay. So uh, usually too, when I'm playing an action, you always want to make sure that you flatten between playing another one, but we'll get into that in another video since this one is all about baked. All right. This is taking a couple minutes, apparently. All right. Okay. So then we go into the layers here and now you can make sure that the black uh, box is selected. Then you grab your brush. Make sure your brush is soft as well, which is 0% hardness. All right. So then I'm going to make my brush smaller and I'm going to go over some little pieces here of skin or flakes or whatever you just want to clean up. This also works really well. I was editing an image where I was outdoors and there were mosquitoes uh, all around um, the subject. And of course, it was an adult subject. And I found that the blemish blaster worked to get rid of those. So kind of handy. All right. So that was just that. Now I'm going to go flatten it. You can flatten here or you can actually use um, the flatten action right here, whatever you choose. So perfect skin. You just hit play again. Okay. You get this little, uh, you know, little instructions here, hit stop. Make sure you're on the black box, soft brush. And then all you do is you paint it over the surface area of the skin. You want to avoid hair details, um, you know, little, little spots that you just really don't want to lose the detail. All right. And that's it. And then of course, with uh, any skin brush or any brush, really, you want to make sure that you adjust the opacity to suit the image because you don't want it too strong. It's obviously uh, set to hundred percent, which you know, that might be a little heavy. So yeah, just play with the opacity, then you're going to hit flatten. So we'll just flatten actually with the action this time. Okay. Hit play. Okay, good. That's done. Now we're going to do redu reduce purple. So reduce purple works really well if you get those little uh, purple fingers, purple toes, but it also works really awesome. If you end up with gray, you know, if you get like gray skin or you find the skin is too cool, this will help. See, and again, just like anything, you want to adjust the opacity, use a soft brush and make sure that you're on the black box. So I just use a shortcut, which is command E to flatten just from my keyboard. Now we're going to do reduce red. And also too, if you use reduce red and you find that you end up taking out too much red, you can um, also, of course, re you know, adjust the opacity here, but you can also add some warmth, warmth back with reduce purple, just a little trick. So when I'm using reduce red, I always do it on the side of the light um, because I, I do want a little redness on this side here in the shadow. That's just my own personal preference and how I use it. You can use it on however, you know, however you want. Same thing. You're going to want to adjust the opacity. Um, my sweet spot is usually around 30%. Flatten that. Now reduce orange. Well, obviously there's no orange here, um, but we're going to play it anyway, just so you can see what it does. So you can see here, it just takes out all orange. Again, you're gonna wanna adjust opacity, but I'm gonna turn off this layer cause I'm not gonna need that for this image. And I'm gonna flatten it here. As you notice, there's three different ways that you can flatten your photo. Um, but I, and I showed you all of them. I just wanted to give you those little tricks. Reduce yellow, this is great for jaundice. Um, this baby has a little bit of jaundice. Okay, so you just paint it over and I'm gonna put it down to 30% and then flatten that. Then sharpen details. So this one is just for the details as in the eyelash line um, or whatever actually depends on what you're shooting. You can you don't only need to use this for a, a newborn. Um, this works on 
everything. All right, so it appears that I, okay, there we go. No, it's not working, what the heck? Oh, now it is, all right, silly me. Okay, there we go. You can do it on the eyes or on the lips or all the above, flatten that. You can adjust the opacity to your taste as well. Pink lips and cheeks. So sometimes in your editing, you end up taking out all the, you know, the color out of their cheeks or lips, which, you know, we can add back. Or sometimes babies just, they just need a little bit of a, a little color boost there. And again, with the, with the pink, with the cheeks, I only do it on the side that is lit. And if you are someone that has very evenly lit photos, then definitely do it on both sides. But if you're um, like me and in this image, it's a, kind of like a 90 degree. Um, I only do the one side. And then of course you want to adjust the opacity. There we go, I'm gonna do 30%, flatten that. Next up is Enlighten, paint on light. So some images that you have, you might wanna add some more light and actually a little trick I do, sometimes if you don't find that the, the contrast is um, striking enough, you can add light to the one side of the face. Like if you didn't quite nail your lighting, you could um, kind of fake it. You can add the light to the one side here and it makes it a little more, you know, poppy, a little more, you know, 90 degrees looking. So you can see that. So I'm gonna do 20% there. Then the shadows paint on dark. So this works really great if you maybe wanna add a little vignette in your image or there's certain areas you wanna add darkness to even, well, obviously that's scary. Um, so you're gonna wanna, you know, do it really low. Less is more, right? So I'm gonna, oops make my brush bigger. I'm using a bracket as a keyboard shortcut to um, make it bigger. You can also go up here to make it bigger. All right, so then you can add it around the edges. Uh, obviously I did some on his face as well as the background. So what I would do is I would flatten that, then I would add it again, and then I can make it stronger because I didn't want it stronger on his face. See here, now that just adds like a nice Nice vignette, makes him pop more. Then I'm gonna drop that to 30. I think I should crop this just for the sake of cropping. Um, all right, I'm just gonna crop that stuff out. Okay, and then we are going to use, all right, there, get the junk out of the way. All right, and now I'm going to be using Brighten Midtones. Okay, and we're about to see what this one does. See this? It kind of just gives it a little, you know, a little, a little oomph there, a little poppy pop. I'm going to keep it at 20. I like it. You can mid-tone drop if you found that, you know, it's too much. But I like it the way it was, so I'm going to flatten this. These are things that you can play with. You don't have to use them exactly like I do. You can use them to your own taste. That is the beauty of these um, actions as they are, you know, kind of designed to unlock your own creativity. But of course, this, this video is just mainly showing you just kind of what everything does. So it's all up to you, you're the artist, you know? All right, 10%, and that's just the soft, uh, sorry, soft spotlight. It just kind of puts a little bit of this glowy creaminess in the center of the photo. Uh, also, actually, you can drag it around. So you're gonna take your move tool, or no, I guess it's already set to a move tool. You can move it around. So you can see there that I, what I just did. So I'm gonna actually increase the opacity so you can really see. I clicked on this, the gradient here. Then it just automatically allows me, I grab it. I know it's in the middle because that's where it goes. But you can even add it. If you're doing an outdoor, uh, outdoor session and you wanna add a little sun glow pop, you can actually do this for that. So you can put it wherever you want, kind of handy. All right, so I'm gonna lower it because I just wanted to up it for the sake of the tutorial. All right, I'm gonna go away from that. Okay, next is burnt edges. So this is an automatic, kind of like a vignette, um, and you can increase and decrease the opacity. Do you wanna change the color? You can change the color by clicking on this and then clicking the gradient, and now you can change the color by, um, and also if you wanna make it more woodsy, like instead of a black vignette, uh, you just take the color dropper and you select, and you can see I'm selecting on the wood so it does a color match to the wood. Hit OK, OK, OK. And now suddenly we got ourselves a nice brown vignette. So if again, if you're doing this outdoors and you want it to be an earthy green, you just double click, double click, find the little guy in the bottom, this little square, double click, 
and see as I select it on this dark spot you see it changed so obviously I want it you know to be brown because the wood if you like the black cool but just wanted to give you a little little you know little show you how to use those all right now I flatten that now officially baked so this one I love it just gives the image that pop that you just just love like I swear it kind of makes or breaks the image you can see it um, all right so I'm gonna do about 15% that's kind of my favorite is 15 to 18 then I'm gonna use vintage warmth so first for this one because sometimes if you just play it by itself which I'll show you it's pretty you know it's pretty warm so and there's no way to adjust the opacity so i'm going to hit Control z to get rid of it and i'm going to go command j or Control j create a layer then play vintage warmth and then go in here and now you can adjust the opacity to what you you think looks good i'm going to flatten that at 20 percent now the applesauce brush so this brush i designed um it, you know, some people, sometimes, like, you know, especially when you're, I, it doesn't matter if you're new or not. Some of us just, we all just miss focus at times. And this is supposed to help bring back focus. Or it's a super mega sharpening brush. So you can see, um, you have to make sure that you use it very carefully. But if you miss focus, just by a hair, you know, if you are shooting and you ended up getting the baby's nose in focus and missed the eyes completely, you can use this and it'll make it look like you nailed the focus. And this, I find this works great because that's always seems to be your favorite image is the one that you missed focus on. And yeah, so I would, you know, use that one carefully. You can also come in here and, and um, adjust, adjust things um, to your taste as well, uh, which we're not gonna do. So I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna flatten that. But you can adjust things in there. Um, and now we're going to do flatten and then of course we have our uh, Facebook social media resize and so this is a landscape image so I'm going to hit play and you can see that it makes it just so sharp and awesome okay why is this doing that all right there we go okay so you can tell it's like way too sharp so of course you're going to want to adjust it to your taste so I'm going to take my, my uh, eraser tool here and I'm just gonna take it off the bonnet. I, and you wanna make sure you take it off hair as well because it'll make the hair look wet, which kind of gives it a greasy look, which you don't want. So I'm just gonna take it off things I really just don't want sharp, which obviously is a wrap. I want the wrap to look soft. Okay, and now I'm, I'm going to adjust the opacity to let's say 30%, 40%. And that's it. And that is our image from start to finish. And this is the before right here. So that's before and after. All right, I hope you found this um, helpful and I hope you enjoy the, the actions.